Sorry, go ahead. Okay. Well, um, the point of my experiment was to find if um, fishes are actually, or like, for nature, are affected by our pollution mm -hmm. in fresh waters. Um, I use goldfish because right. those are like the most easiest to actually get from mm -hmm. the store. Talk to me about the background. Where did you get the idea for the experiment? Um, I got the idea because I was actually researching about Yosemite and um, I actually still didn't know what I wanted to do. And then I found out that a lot of fish in Yosemite were, also, were being killed because of our pollutions and um, because we throw in like soap or um, debris and other things that all, like affect the fishes. Okay. Yeah. And um, talk to me, uh, Chato, about some of the experimental questions you had in your literature review that you guys researched. Uh, Remember the five questions we talked about and then you guys wrote about it in your mm -hmm. literature review? It's right here. Oh, okay. Um, one question was, um, how were the polluted affect the fish gills mm -hmm. and then and what did you find out about that oh uh, we 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 figured that um the tank that we put soap that it did affect them because uh, I, well we predict that the soap would affect the gills by not let, not giving them oxygen to breathe <laughs> so it almost suffocate yeah, so okay suffocate cool. or drown them under the water okay tell me more um Um, how was um, ammonia affected also? Mm -hmm. And what's where did the ammonia come in? Were you guys using that as a pollutant or? Mm, it was part of, a, of the of the soap. Okay, so there's ammonia in the soap. Yeah. No, the fertilizer. Oh, in the fertilizer, right, because you guys use the plant food, fertilizer. Yeah. Right, and there's also ammonia in, in um, if you, did you guys re research what causes goldfish to die naturally anyway? Yeah, there's ammonia nitrogen. In their feces, yeah. yeah. So in their in their doo doo caca, which is one of the reasons that goldfish they die, die yeah. easily anyway, is people don't clean their bowls or they clean them with soap and stuff, yeah. or they don't have a filter. Now, do you guys use plants in your experimental design yeah. or no? no? No. Okay. So let's talk about um, anything else in your literature you you uh, read or um, researched. I I researched um, about the food and the lifespan, mm -hmm. and I figured out that the food has no relationship with the lifespan of the fishes. Really? Yeah. And then um, I actually, I figured out um, the type of food that they eat out in nature, mm -hmm. and um, I figured out that they eat a lot of proteins, mm -hmm. and um, they eat like other fish, and. But that's not what we're feeding them in their fish food. No. no. So it's automatically. All it's all protein in their fish food. There's proteins. Yeah. It's just high in protein. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So it's similar to what they would eat, but definitely a different food source. Yeah. Okay. So that also could have affected yeah. the the experiment, which makes yeah. perfect sense. And then, did you guys use stress coat? And if so, what is that? The stuff that the drops you put in to make the water? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the tap conditioner. Tap conditioner. Talk to me about why you had to use that. I had to use that because fishes can't live on um, with water that has like Clorox mm -hmm. because it like kills them. Because um, I actually didn't research why, but they just die immediately because of yeah. the Clorox. That's exactly it. And yeah. We have chlorine in our in our water systems now, so you guys had to treat the water and then you put the fish. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, talk to me, please, about your procedure. So what did you guys do first, second, third, fourth? Uh, for our procedure, um, uh, we put that to clean the tanks with water to have the tanks clean from any bacteria or chemicals. Okay. And label one tank, the control, paralyzer, miners, and vital and preferable soap. Okay. And, and add two cups of water. So they all have the same amount of yeah. water in them? Okay, good. And then add six drops of tap water conditioner to all of the tanks so they have the same amount. Mm -hmm. And it says add three fish to each tank so there was the same amount on each tank. Okay. And, and when, you, when were you guys charting data and how were you measuring data? I'm curious about your quantitative data. Um, well, this one is about the tank's pH. So Talk to me about that. Okay. Um, for each tank, I measured the pH, meaning um, if, like, if it was um, too acidy or mm -hmm. um, if it was a base. Which one's the control group one? Um, the control group is the blue one, so it's right here. It, stayed, it usually stayed the same, and it would just decrease. Did you see it changing each day slightly? It looks like it changed. Yeah, it changed at days. I think it was like... But you didn't change the water out no. at all. No. So it could have just been like, changing from the yeah. natural... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The natural feces. And did your control group die? Um, most of them. I only have 
two left. But you have two left of the control group. What about the other uh, tanks? They all died. Everybody else died? Yes. Who died first? The um, biodegradable soap. Really? So the soap that's supposed to be good for the environment? Yeah. I actually have a picture of that. Um, <laughs> after I put the soap in, as you can see, there's like so much gooey stuff around them. So when they were actually trying to swim, they couldn't. So they were like stuck. So that meant that... Um, the, like the soap actually got into their gills, meaning that it went into also like their um, the t the gills tissues, mm -hmm. which caused them to die. Excellent, that was a good one. Um, what about the the plant food? Talk to me about what happened with those guys. Um, well, the plant food, it actually um, it didn't give like an immediate result. Mm -hmm. It took like about two hours or so. When I started seeing the fish, like they just. I, could, I don't know what they were doing. They were just so like wait, swimming so you, around. You saw immediate results with yeah, the soap. Yeah, for the soap, it was immediate. Like, I just saw them start. Immediate like, meaning like within seconds of the yeah. soap going in. But it took longer with the for plant the yeah. fertilizer. And how long until your first one cacked? Like two hours. Oh, okay, but it, it, it died within it two died, hours. It died, yeah. Did any of them last past the first day? Except yeah. for the control group. Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Um... Talk to me about what this research means to the environment, what it means to real-life applications. Why would you do this? I, I know you started with Yosemite. Um, this is very applicable to the ecosystem of Yosemite, but tell me why. I guess um, to know how the environment is affected by the polluted water that mm -hmm. affects the, um, not, just, not just the species that are under the water, but also as humans. Explain it to me why. Uh, because we did some research, and it, it shows that not that not just the animals are affected by causing them the death, mm -hmm. but also the humans by um, not knowing like what does the um, the water has as the chemicals, and it could cause also sickness to the to the human body. So because of the food chain. So mm -hmm. um, I'm interested in the amount. How much did you use of the plant food? How much did you use of the soap? The measurable I'll use, um one fourth of a teaspoon mm -hmm. for all four of them. For all four? All three, I mean. Not in, and then not not in, in the, the control. control. Yeah. If you guys had a year and you were able to redo this entire experiment over the course of a year, what are three things that you would change, test, or do differently? I think one thing would be like testing on different fish and seeing like if they all have like the same reactions or if one, or if like one type is actually like adapted to all of like this pollution and stuff. If the others? Um... <laughs> Chato, any, any other yeah. things you would change? Um, I guess just ha like for different, like she said, different fish mm -hmm. have different different type of food. How many do you have in each tank? How many fish? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. So maybe using more fish? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think that would be significant. Um, what about equipment? Is there any equipment you would change? Um, the pH strips, because those are kind of hard to use mm -hmm. at first. But then I got a hang of it, and I think I would just use like the pH meters mm -hmm. because those would be those would be more exact than using a pH grid. I agree. pH um, strips because I'm kind of like guessing, mm -hmm. while a pH meter is more exact. Absolutely. What about uh, uh, Chato? Chato, what about something if you wanted to really test this over long periods of time? Is there anything you would have put in the tanks differently? I guess a filter. A filter would have been good because yeah. that would have taken care of some no, of the, the, the water, feces yeah. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything else that you guys know just from our biology background? I think a plant. A plant to or two. To help them um, yeah. like take out some carbon and everything. Yeah. yeah. Because that easily could have contributed to it. Any scientific error that you know of? Is there anything that went wrong in your experiment that you could have changed if you had a year to fix it? Um, in how you collected your data and your observations in the fish? Were they all the identical size, shape, I think age? it was, yeah. Um, I think, like, the error was, like, the size of the fish and the colors. Because mm -hmm. some, like, I had a gray one and a white one. And then those are, like, different from all of them. And are the gray one and the, are they still alive? No, they died. They both died. Okay, so it didn't matter. It didn't help yeah, yeah. them survive at all, but um, definitely did that. Yeah. Um, if you guys would have had another two weeks, which would you have done? Anything else? Um, if I had two weeks, I think I would have gotten more fish. Because, you would have done? Yeah. Okay. And I think I would have done the experiment twice hmm. to actually see if I, like, if I actually committed any errors yeah. or, like, my data was actually, like, exact. What careers could this connect to for either of you? Uh, think about your own personal interest and what you want to do maybe mm -hmm. in your future. Does this apply at all to you in your careers or just in how you live or maybe how you camp? Do either of you camp? Go camping or do you go? Have you been to Yosemite? No. I've been with the school. You've been with the school. So does it change or does it give you any recommendations that you could teach people in the future about your project 
and impacts on the environment. I think it just gives us knowledge of like the effects that we actually don't recognize of us actually polluting the waters yeah. of fishes. Because um, sometimes like if you go maybe to like a park or something, you see like bubbles of like soap or oils and stuff, but you don't realize what's actually like happening to the fishes and mm -hmm. the animals living there. And this experiment like tells us like, oh yeah, they actually die because of um, like kind of like our stupidity of just mm -hmm. putting all of our... And you guys know, I, I loaned you Dr. Bronner, so mm -hmm. that soap is really used by a ton of mainstream campers. Yeah. <laughs> it is It is the number one soap that people carry with mm -hmm. them on campouts. And if you think about it, people who are camping at Yosemite don't always have shower access. Yeah. So they're using Ugh. buckets of water yeah. to wash up. And what are they doing with that bucket of water? They throw it back. Yeah. And then it rains, and that goes right directly into yeah. the... Now, you said you did some background on what's going on at Yosemite. Can you tell me what's going on at Yosemite currently? Um, what's going on is that um, there's a lot of fish that are, like, they're just dying. They, they just find them dead because they find, um, like, scraps of metal and soap and minerals that aren't like part of the environment and that's like some fishes like eat it which cause their death and others are just like polluted because like the same animals like through their gills and stuff so they just die and that's like one of the big main causes that all of the fishes are dying in Yosemite. Yeah I concur. Um, Chacho, anything else you'd like to add about, I, I, I can speak specifically to the model of the fish there and can you talk about the areas that, um, in your observations of the dead fish that you saw most affected by the different chemicals? I think um, I will go with the gills. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that. Um, like, like we said about the first, in the two tanks about the soap, mm -hmm. we predicted that probably the deadness cause of the gills being affected with the soap and mm -hmm. like being drawn under the water. And it sounds like it was sticky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've had a lot, so those gills were sticky yeah. together. When I took them out, I touched it and it was all slimy. Like they were full of like the slime. And not the it. good slime. Not no. the Not good. like the good, it's like the soap. Because they need to stay, they're actually supposed yeah. to be slimy, mm -hmm. which is good. Um, anything else, Chato, that you think maybe would have been affected by the different chemicals? Mm. <laughs> you guys didn't dissect them? No. No. <coughs> I think probably, like, their liver. Mm -hmm. Tell me why. I guess because that's, like, that's, like, the condition that, that they have inside of mm -hmm. you. And they're probably could have affected by the, um, by the, um, soap or the food or the other fertilizer yeah i would have been curious if you guys would if you had extra time a year would you have dissected dead fish yeah yeah you wouldn't have you would have. i would have. you would have yeah yeah because i would have been intrigued what color was the plant food it was like a greenish i would have been curious to see the know, inside if the intestines and organs were actually green yeah and i would have been i would have wanted to maybe even yeah. test the ph mm. of the yeah. internal mm -hmm. to see how much of that was transferred but i think that um Really, really good. Did it impact you guys? I mean, you liked the experiment. This was. I did. And I actually like um, when I was doing research. I found a. It was like an experiment that university did in Kentucky, uh -huh. and they actually tested it in a pond. Really. Where they put soap in, and they saw like there was a rise in pH, which is right here in the graph, where it actually in the early morning it would kind of like start decreasing, and then the pH would like increase in the late afternoon and then decrease. And what and was then, the reason for that? Um. They said that it was about, um, I think it was like the temperature or something. Because mm -hmm. remember when hot things circulate yeah. in lakes, we talked about yeah. that. So when it gets warmer out, the cold water goes down mm -hmm. and the hot water comes up, which makes sense. That's why they yeah. would have seen that rotation at the warmest part of the They saw day. a lot of death in fishes also, which like... So we're talking the food chain yeah. and that biomagnification. So we would have seen that go up in, in the um, results. Perfect, yeah. guys. Thank you very much. You have your citations um, yeah. here? We're excited. Thank you. Awesome, and both your projects are there, right? Yes. Awesome, thank you very much, guys. Good job. Next up is Ileana and Armando.